Hi, my name is Lori Alexander. And yesterday I had to take my grandchildren to Awana, the same place that I took my own children to Awana when they were young. And one of the grandchildren is three years old, so it's the first time she gets to go to Cubby's. And so I took them to the church and then I found out that it was the same room that I was taking her to that I took my youngest to, to Awana, 30 and 32, three years ago, 30, yeah, 30 and 32 years ago when they were three years old and dropped them off at that same door. It was an incredible memory and <laughs> such a blessing to be able to drop off one of my grandchildren there and the other grandchildren were in the older classes but she was a cubby <laughs> i took my children up there every week no matter how sick i was and i was always sick because i wanted them to know god's word and to hide it in their hearts that and so they would not sin against him because we're commanded to let god's word dwell in, uh, in us richly so throughout the weeks we would be memorizing scriptures like in cubbies the first one is jesus loves me or something really simple you know you know children obey your parents <laughs> and so i just worked hard as they got older they memorized them themselves but my kids loved awana and it was instrumental in them knowing and loving god's word so if you have one around you take your kids there it's great so anyway I was on the way, the reason I brought the Awana thing is because on my, the way I was listening before I picked the kids up, I was listening to Elizabeth Elliot at Q&A and one question was about women and modesty and she said that women should dress like women, they should look feminine, she wears, she didn't say that pants were wrong but she mostly wore dresses when she left the home. She wore pants as I guess to garden, to go on a horseback ride and hike or stunt, whatever thing, whatever. But she liked to look feminine. And as our culture grows more and more gender diverse, <laughs> we should look more and more feminine and enjoy being feminine. And then she brought the topic of bathing suits and said that women should not be wearing bathing suits, period. She said, don't go to the beaches, don't go to the public pools. She said they're completely immodest. They only cover privates. It's like walking around in a bra and underwear. And I agree with her. Now the bathing suits, the women are wearing thongs, which are really common. So they look naked when you know when you walk behind them or if they're laying on the on the towel on their stomach. And it's they're in sin. They're disobeying God, number one. They're being a stumbling block for the men around them. Yes, men should learn how to bounce their eyes and not look, but most men are not taught that from the time they're little and they're naturally attracted to a naked female's body and they're going to look. Some of them will lust after them and some old icky men will lust after these women, these young women and just, you know, it's just, they're just becoming objects to these men. There's for all of God's commands are for our good and there's multiple reasons for them. It's not just because God commands us to be modest, but he commands us to be modest, to not be a stumbling block for women. I, women, I know a lot of people don't like to men, excuse me. I know a lot of people don't like that teaching these days because it offends women. I don't care. It's truth. If you ask honest men, they're attracted to the human female body. <laughs> so we do what we can. We look feminine and modest, and, and but we cover up. Be modest only in front of your husband. He should only see your nakedness. Be the only one who sees your nakedness and let him see it often because they like to see a woman's naked body <laughs> if they're a healthy masculine ma male. So anyway, I found a bathing suit from Land's End this last, a couple months ago, and I took it to Wisconsin with me. And the water was like 75 to 75 degrees a lot. It was just beautiful. And we swam every day. And this bathing suit 
it looks like a black dress. It, you know, it, it covers everything and it's a, it's a dress. It looks like it, and it, it goes down to just above my knee. And so you don't have to, you know, just normal bathing suits, you feel like you are in underwear. It just shows way too much, you know, and women have to shave and be, you know, sit where they're not, you know, just, they're so unmodest and so uncomfortable. But this bathing suit was so comfortable. My husband loved it. All of my cousins who saw me in it loved it. And my husband, when he saw me in it, I was kind of embarrassed to first show him because it was so different than any other bathing suit I've ever seen on the beach or anywhere or anyone wear. Cause it was very modest, but very cute. He loved it. So, and I, my, a young woman that was staying with us, 30 year old woman, she loved it too. And so when I fr first put it on, he, yeah, he said, why do we all, why don't all women wear that bathing suit, that type of bathing suit? You're comfortable in it. You're, you're comfortable bending over and sitting and, and you're, you're covered up completely. And it's, you know, as Christian women, we need to start a new, I want to say revolution, but I don't think that's a good word, <laughs> a new fad of being modest, even at the beaches. Now it's a difficult thing to go to the beaches, you know, with our husbands and sons because of all the immodesty around us. In fact, I just don't even like to go anymore. But up in Wisconsin where we were, there was so few people and it was mostly just us. But at the beach as if, you know, your husband really wants to go to the beach and whatever, um, I will link this bathing suit down below because it's just adorable, modest. My husband loved it. A young woman loved it on me. Everyone that I saw that saw me in it loved it on me. So, and you don't look dorky or dumpy or frumpy or whatever. So women, we need to be modest everywhere. God's commands aren't just for when we're out shopping or walking around. They're for even at the beach. They're for everything. We're to, we're to be different. We're to be set apart and holy and above reproach and blameless and that's the biggest witness that we have to a watching world is the way that we live our lives. Are we loving? Are we kind? Are we gentle? Do we speak the truth in love? Because that's really loving other people is speaking truth to them, letting God use the seeds that we plant to, to you know, flourish and produce fruit. So be modest in everything. I have some dresses on my Instagram stories my, that um, I love that are modest. In fact, I, this one I found on Amazon and it's so comfortable and modest and, and cute. <laughs> so for, to me it is. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, women, obey God, be modest, don't spend a ton of money. We're not supposed to be extravagant either. We're supposed to be moderate in everything, including how many, how many dresses we have, how much clothes we have, how much money we spend on our clothes and be moderate in everything. We're to be known for our temperance. Show the world Christ by the way that you live. This is your greatest testimony to them. And then speak truth as often as possible. Bye-bye. <laughs>